into your February love singles reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. And welcome back, all subscribers. Anyone new? Welcome, welcome. Let's see what is going on with you. Okay, what are you attracting into your life? Who is this person? Do you know this person? Okay, getting straight in here. This person wants a commitment, right? And they are very mature about the situation. They know exactly what they want and they know where they want to go with a relationship. Um, so they're definitely looking for someone to hook up with for the overall commitment. Um, they have learned a lot within life and they're very, ooh, knight in shining armory over here. Uh, they do like to, to give gifts, do things of this. Let's see. I don't know. I feel like it could be definitely a... Could be definitely dealing with some kind of Pisces or Virgo for sure. Okay, for a lot of you. Let's see what's going on. How do they feel about you? You are worth waiting for. So I do feel like you already know this person, and this person really wants to show you who they are, what they're made of, and they are a soulmate. Wow. So really bringing in that soulmate connection. Love that. So. Okay, and let's see what's going on over here. So they view you as a person who is, ooh, shining bright like a star. Wow. A person that they really just want to connect to, a person who just shines everywhere. They see you as this shiny, bright person. They also see you as a soulmate. That's crazy. We see you have soulmate twice, so this definitely could be a soulmate connection. Wow. And they see you completely abundant and free and full of love and care um, and caring, you know? <clears throat> wow. Oh my goodness. Let's see, grabbing some cards over here. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. A person that they can compromise. They want to have a compromise with you. I feel like so you guys already know each other, and I do feel like there is some compromise that needs to be done um, to actually get to this romantic place for you guys. Right. So if you guys, if you know this person and maybe you've dated before or they've, you've given them a chance and you need to give them a second chance, um, they're, you know, they really want to come back, um, right. And really show you balance, show you truth, have the clarity and the understanding, um, to the situation. They are definitely the emperor. You know, they, they are very stable. They see you as stable, but they also feel like they have a lot of options with you and are prepared to make these options. Right? They've been manifesting and want to offer you this love. They want to offer you this stability. Wow. So if you feel like you've been with this person before, it does feel like that. It feels like this is an ex who's coming back and you feel like, you know what? We weren't stable before. This person is definitely stable. They have a lot more than they had before, which is probably maybe why the maturity is coming through because it's saying I'm more mature now than I was before. So I would like to come back. I have, I understand give and take. I understand sharing is caring. Um, I understand that, you know, where I wasn't giving before of myself, I want this commitment. I want to show you that I am committed to you. Maybe this was a person who just could not commit to you. And now they are showing you, you know, who they really are and where the sun does shine and that they are committed to wanting to build a family and a relationship with you and a deep connected one as well. Um, and we do have the sun here again. So I do feel this is a soulmate connection. Soul, soul, soul. So, wow. So let's see how they kind of feel over here about you. Wow. Card flowing out is chemistry. The chemistry between the two of you is undeniable. You probably know this. And you a place where they want to express their love to you, right? Um, it does feel like there is some finance and career situation over here where it has to be like letting go of control situations. Maybe they were more in love with their job um, then they could give to you. Um, so they wouldn't, therefore they wouldn't be very mature in love. Um, right. So it does feel like maybe they were workaholics. They didn't, they cared more about money than yourself, something of this nature. Um, but it does feel like they also have more financial freedom, um, and actually can balance. And that could be where the balancing is actually coming out too. I can balance out my work and love. Watch me, watch me do this. Right. And I don't have any codependencies. So the codependency could have been, 
the toxic relationship of work versus that, or they could have had drinking problems. Take it out, really. You know, everybody's story is a little different, right? So let's see what we got over here for our overall. Unexpected income. This person does have some kind of unexpected income coming in. Um, it could be from work, um, inherited from, you know, family members, something of this nature, won the lottery, something, gambling, something, something is going on where they got unexpected income and they're really taking the high road. Um, wow. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. 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 Okay. And the person you could be dealing with guys, definitely, like I said before, it, you know, it could be a Virgo, a Pisces, a Libra, or definitely some, ooh, could be a Capricorn. Okay. Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.